Uh, hi everyone and welcome back uh, to this uh, series of uh, electrical A1 circuits PO exam. As I mentioned earlier in another video that I found that December 2021 exam was a bit different than the styles of the exams or the questions after the COVID. And this is the only time I have seen this type of questions, which is about two port network. It's a very simple question, very easy to understand. Just in case if you have something like this in the future, you know how to deal with, with it. So it says here for the following two board network, determine the values of the four impedance parameters of the network. Just to give you a bit of a theory, what do we mean by the two board uh, network? So I have some two slides to explain this to you. So what is the impedance parameters? Basically here, your circuit or your network we look to it as a black box. We have two terminals to the right and two terminals to the left. Okay, so this is the two board network. Now this can be voltage driven or current driven. It doesn't really matter. But the whole circuit now I deal with it as basically as a black box. But the relationship between V1, I1, V2 and I2, regardless if it is a voltage or a current driven, is basically governed by this relationship. V1 is equal to Z11I1 plus Z12I2. Same thing, V2 is equal to Z21I1 and Z22I2. So the question is asking you to find this Z11, Z21, Z12, and Z22. That is what you are asked for. Now, this is used in communication and signal processing, this concept of representing a circuit or a system as a two-port uh, network you can easily deal, find, uh, or transmission line even, finding the voltages and the currents, knowing the four parameters that govern this uh, network. You can put them in, uh, in a matrix format like this one, okay? And now all, the, all these are basically in ohms, the impedance and network. There are some other, basically other uh, two-board network. There's the admittance, there's the H, uh, there is the transmission line, but I will not go over this because I never saw any question of them. Uh, the most fundamental one is basically this one, is the impedance uh, parameters. The question is how to find Z11, Z12, Z21, and Z22. It's very, very straightforward. So basically here what you do, to find Z11 and Z21, okay, which is this and this, you apply a voltage V1 from the left side, you measure V1 and I1, and basically you made I2 equal to zero, meaning that this is an open circuit. Hence, your Z11 is your V1 over I1 when I2 is equal to zero. So when you look here in this equation, if I made I2 equal to zero, then Z11 will be V1 over I1. This is your Z11 subject when I2 2 is equal to 0. If you go to the other equation, Z21, if I made I2 equal to 0, okay, then it's nothing but V2 over I1 when I2 is equal to 0. So these two parameters are done from this configuration. Then you reverse. You apply the voltage from the other side and you open circuit the other side, then you can find Z12 which is basically the uh, V1 over uh, I2, V1 over I2. Now, now you made now I1 equal to zero. So this is the one that goes to zero. So Z12 is V1 over I2 when I1 is equal to zero. Okay, and Z22, this is your Z22. Again, I1 now is zero, so this is, doesn't exist. Z22 is equal to V2 divided by I2 when I1 is equal to zero. So it's very, very straightforward. And let's go to the, to the question. So here it says, find the values of the four impedances, meaning Z11, Z12, Z21, and Z22. So what we will do here, I will apply a voltage here, V1. It doesn't matter its value. I can call it just I, uh, V1. This is 0.5 kilo ohm. I want to make everything in kilo ohm so that I will not confuse uh, confusing the units. Very important. This is your I1. Then we will have here basically your 2 kilo. 
and then we will have six kilo ohm here this is your v2 and your i2 is equal to zero because this is an open circuit okay now we know that z11 is equal to v1 over i1 when your i2 is equal to zero okay now apply kvl here now the current here is i1 in the 0.5 kilo ohm it's the same current that go through the 2 kilo ohm because this is an open circuit so basically when you apply kvl you will find 0.5 k i1 plus 2 k i1 is equal to v1 or 2.5 kilo i1 is equal to v1 or v1 over i1 is equal to 2.5 kilo ohm which is equal to your z11 so this is your z11 now you want to find z21 z21 is equal to v2 over i1 when i2 is equal to zero now where is this is your v2 now since the voltage drop across the six kilo ohm is zero so v2 is the same as the voltage across the two kilo ohm so this is your v2 okay so your v2 basically is your i1 times the two kilo ohm so this is the current that goes here and from this v2 over i1 is equal to two kilo ohm which is equal to z2 to one then let's go to the other one so basically here we will reverse we will apply the voltage to the other side so basically here we will have v2 this is your six kilo ohm here is your i2 now i2 is not equal to zero now this is your two kilo ohms and this is your 0.5 and basically here your i1 is equal to zero and this is your v v1 so we want to find z12 which is basically v1 over i2 when i1 is equal to zero okay so it is basically v1 okay now what is v1 is the voltage between these two points which is the same as this voltage so basically here 2 k i2 is equal to v1 or v1 over i2 is equal to 2 kilo which is equal to z12 which is equal to z21 actually in this network z12 and z21 are usually equal to each other okay and then you want to find final thing z22 which is v2 over i2 when your i1 is equal to zero again apply kvl here so you will have 6k i2 plus 2k i2 equal to v2 or 8k i2 is equal to v2 so v2 over i2 is equal to 8 kilo which is equal to z22 so these are the four parameters of the impedance two board uh, network you find that z22 and 11 they are not equal unlike z12 and z21 which basically represent this impedance so this is a very straightforward question so i thought it is worth to know it will not take you much time to understand it you may not see it uh, because as I said, this is not a frequent question, but I thought that it's no harm to know uh, this uh, material.